and mm -hmm. I need to be really, really sure that this is just a group of cyber snatchers. Mm -hmm. I need a few minutes alone with the small one in the infirmary. I won't hurt her. I won't do anything to her. I just need to see that she's telling the truth about who... Well, she's not really talking to any of the guards. I need to be sure this is exactly what it appears to be. I'm fine if you want to be there too, but not your guards, no one else. And uh, So, Perrin says pretty clearly, he's like, you know what? We don't really have much of a justice system here. Uh, people know not to mess with me or mess with the people under my protection. Uh, you, uh, although you guys haven't, you and your friends haven't been here for very long, uh, you're valued business partners, and I feel somewhat protective of you, so to speak. He says, I'll give you an hour with her if you want. And you know what? Since she's the one, they were the one who were trying to attack and harm you, if she ends up dead... So be it. That will be your justice. Her fate's in your hands. How's that? Fair enough. Great. Uh, he says, yeah, co show up uh, at the clinic between uh, 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock uh, tonight. And um, you'll see some guards outside. But once you go in, they'll just make sure they're not in your shot. Okay? Fair enough. All right. All right. And uh, sorry, does anyone else want to do anything during this kind of timeline situation? I am most likely not with Al and probably yeah. still pouring myself into this book and programming. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I'm, I'm most likely going to try to start up the basics like who is the who, who is uh, the, the owner of this and so on and so forth. Patrick, oh. remember you need to eat. At some point, just just trying to remind. I know, I Thanks, know, I know Mom. how excited you get when you are get. Are you there? Are <laughs> no. you there talking with me? <laughs> well, I'm then sure I can talk to you at some point. I'm sure yeah, at some point very, in the day. Yeah. Is, right can, now we're playing things very very loose. I like tell like you what. Scene by scene. I will bring right. Patrick like a sandwich because I'm quite sure that he's probably been there for like twelve hours straight. Like. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Like a kid playing a video game he's really into, yeah. ignores the food next to him and <laughs> continues doing stuff. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Uh, Mila, Tom, anything kind of specific you want to do to burn the next couple hours? Or, like I said, we're kind of leaving the time scale very, very free because I don't want us to slog through hour after hour. Is there anything, uh, any burning desire that you have right away? Um, well. Uh, Mila's probably going to be following Al around if he'll let her. Kind of, okay. she's kind of concerned that he's mad at her again. Okay, of, oh of course. All right. <laughs> of course. All right. Yeah. Al, how about you? Um, Al's so confused. He doesn't know what to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> no where, one does. Where, where currently is Patrick? I'm, I'm sorry, I was away for a while. Uh, oh. that's a good question. Uh, Patrick, I'm assuming you're not going to want to hang out reading at the clinic the entire evening. Um, would it be fair to assume that you guys would, like I said, there's about three open rooms over at the Goldsmith uh, Inn. Uh, did you want to get a room? Like, there's also a common room that you can sleep in, too, for that's really cheap. Mm -hmm. But, like, Patrick, did you want to take your own room? Did, want, did you just want to read in the dining area? Is there, did you want to read outside? Yeah, Did you want to go back to your vehicles? It's like... generally uh, a nice day out. I'll most likely just like um, sit on the bench. Yeah, f pr pretty close to the clinic. Any particular se seating area that I can find around there, okay. most likely would be still in the clinic, just reading the book, not really noticing anybody doing anything until somebody actually addresses him, and then he will probably notice that people are gone or okay. whatever. And okay, well, I. I would have stuck with Patrick, but okay. I I would have tried to get him to like either go to the inn or go outside, because um, I'm kind of tempted to try um, doing some drawing. Okay, okay. 
So I'll leave it between you two, Tom and Patrick, whether you <laughs> start or one. And that's how we just started. We just uh, started streaming. Should I, this might be a good time to point out that when I press start stream, it also starts recording. Okay. So this is being saved for posterity and all Those sorts of things. Those are some great kits, I must say. Thank you. Um, so, okay, we're back. We just uh, quickly moved to... Uh, hang Click on, on the link. Let me get away from this. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not clicking on the link. Click on the link. No, I don't want to There's a perfectly it. good pair of tits there. All right, GM, GM is... I know it's probably just pictures of birds. It's fine. But uh, GM is going to bring this back down. To where we were, where we last left off here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, I believe that um, Tom and Patrick are learning more about the robotic squirrel. No, no, uh, no. That's, more specifically, that's just Patrick. yeah, Patrick's really just learning about the squirrel, and Tom is keeping him company and also doing some drawing as well. Uh, is there anything in particular that you're drawing, by the way, Tom? Um. I'm going to try passers. and focus on the buildings and passers-by and things like okay. that. Okay, cool. All right, excellent. Uh, and Mila and um, Al are together as well. Now, I think we'll move the next scene to Perrin has arranged between 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock to have no guards or... It's pretty much she's allowing a, a private audience between the cyber snatchers that are in the clinic and Al. Now, is Mila going to be accompanying Al during this? Um, if he will let her. Yeah, of okay. course. Of course. Yeah. Uh, and just so I'm clear, Perrin's basically literally said her face in my hands. I could walk out of there with her if I wanted to. I mean, is that, am I under that assumption? Between I could do five and six. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is like, if I choose to kill her, if I choose to let her go, whatever I choose to do, he did say her fate is in my hands now, right? He did say those words exactly. Oh. Life is da, da, in your da, 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 da. I'm not oh. just gonna set her free. That's Kriana. No just let you know. Just yeah. <laughs> that's Kriana growing. Yeah, that's growing. Kriana growing. <laughs> I'm growing. I'm now six foot eight. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, All right. okay, I'm gonna walk in there, and then I'm um, gonna go over to the 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 bed with the smallish girl. And I'm going to sit on the bed, and I'm going to look at her. And I'm not going to say anything. She stares at you with an eyebrow raised. And she is the first that speaks. And she says, um, I noticed that the guards are gone. And everything is pretty quiet, except for me and... Uh, that woman there, and she raises her chin and kind of points to uh, the uh, woman with the broken jaw. And she says, I figure that's your doing. More or less. Would you hold out your hand, please? She doesn't. She refuses. She folds her hands to her side. She's like, listen, I don't know what you're up to. But I'm not telling you shit. I beg a differ. And I'm going to just walk around. I'm going to place my arm on her upper hand and inject her with a true serum. <laughs> uh, roll the hit because she's going to struggle. She, I mean, obviously, she's handcuffed, but right. she's still going to try to get out of the way. Right, so, just just do, so, well, uh, so then let me be clear. I'm not going to inject her until I have a firm grip, just so I don't, I don't want to miss. Okay, okay, yeah. all right. So we'll just say you grip her. She struggles for a little bit, mm -hmm. and uh, then uh, she, yeah, you inject her with a, a truth serum. Uh, you know, as a doctor, it will take a couple minutes for it to actually uh, take effect. And the true serum actually kind of almost induces her in an almost like a hypnotic state. It sedates her a little bit. She's bleary. She's a, she gets like a little bit confused. Um, but when you ask her questions, she like the best way to say it is like all her mental barriers are like down. Right. You know what I mean? 
So she's very pliable. Ah, that's a good way of saying it. She's a very pliable individual. <clears throat> and how long? So, how long does it, does this last? Like plenty of time to hold a conversation? Uh, yeah, we're gonna say uh, it lasts. I, I I'm not too sure if it actually outlines it very clearly in the book. Uh, give me just two seconds, if you don't mind. No, I no, just, don't mind at all. Yeah. Um, here, I'm gonna just search for truth. <laughs> Which, by the way, out of character. Yeah, Piff, you did catch that. Um. Al did once say that he didn't have a true serum. Oh, I was wondering that too. <laughs> well, well, actually, all that Mila knows is that he injected something right there, and oh. now she's busy, pliable. Right? That was back when Al didn't know you guys. <laughs> so it was okay to lie. Yeah. All it right. hurts, man. Cut steep. I have to look at my miscellaneous items and supplies. I don't know if I can trust this guy anymore. He seems kind of shifty. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this guy's kind of shady. I can't, I can't find it in my quick reference stuff, and I'm not going to spend 10 minutes looking through the book. Mm -hmm. We're going to say, let's use just the rule of common sense. Um, 15 minutes. Okay, more than enough to do what I, I need to do. Okay. All right, um, so once it sets in, I'm going to get the business stuff out of the way first, so to speak. <sighs> What is your name? Uh, she uh, hesitates for a moment, and she just repeats name. They call me Casey. Casey, why did you and your group attack me today? She uh, says, Jack marked you as a target with your metal arm figured we could ambush you and cut it off real quick and run away. We wanted the money. Casey, have you or anyone in your crew ever been former military? She says, uh, Charlie, he worked for the coalition. He was a dog boy. Other than that, I don't know too much about their past. Do any of you ever I joined have... up. I... Oh, sorry. sorry. Go no, go ahead. No, go ahead. She says, uh, I joined up with them about four months ago. Didn't really get a resume. Have they ever had any dealings with any military in the time you've been with them? She thinks for a second. She's like, well, about a year ago or so, Jack said that they got into the game by ambushing a J Borg, killing him. I think he was Coalition. But no, not since I've been there. I see. Casey, what do you want? <laughs> she says the same thing anyone else wants. Money. Security. Things to buy. What were you before you joined this group? She says, just a person, just if someone wasn't taken seriously, a victim, a vagabond. What do you care? I'm sorry, I'm asking the questions here. And you should care very greatly because I'm deciding your fate right now. What would you do if you had all the money in the world? Uh, she kind of thinks for a little bit and says, I don't know, try to find a way home, I guess. Where's home? It's like, I don't know. My parents came in through some sort of rift. They were part of a village that I grew up with, but I left when I was little. Even littler than I am now. Not too sure what exactly what it's called. All I know is that I don't belong here, and I'm reminded of that every day. So, I don't know. If you said I, if I had all the money in the world, I'm sure I'd be able to buy my way back to wherever the fuck my people are from. What is your happiest memory of the past four months? She scrunches up her face. Like... Even though she's, like, pliable, mm -hmm. she's still... I understand. I'm asking kind of yeah. off-the-wall yeah. questions. Off-the-wall questions, so her face is responding to it. So, sorry, I was um, 
distracted. What was the question again, Squee? What's your happiest memory of the past four months? <laughs> uh, she says, well, about three months ago, we stopped by New Laszlo. Met a nice guy there. We had a, we had we had fun for a couple nights. He was a sweet kid, but he didn't want to let people know that uh, you know his main squeeze was some DB mutant freak. So he kind of just let it be a one night stand. But it was fun. He was a good guy. Ew. Sorry, that was Karina. Sorry, that was Karina. <laughs> What? I'm <laughs> she's, sorry, she looks like a, a kid. She I know. looks like a kid. She does. Me. Yeah, but she's not a kid, clearly. <laughs> no, it's still just... I know. Did... She's not high, uh, high regard, yeah. Do you enjoy the act of robbing? Do you enjoy hurting the ones that you rob? Um... <laughs> I was not <laughs> I was not not planning on this conversation either. Uh let me see here. I gotta think about her character real quick. She kinda hesitates for a little bit. She's like I don't get any sort of sick thrill out of it. Not like some of the boys, but I do like outsmarting people. So in that sense, I do like it, yeah. Would you say, and I'm hopefully relying on the truth here, would you say that you joined, that you robbed, that you're a bandit because you enjoy being a robber or a bandit? Or if you had another path, would you rather choose that? Is it the thrill of outsmarting people, or is it the the thrill of taking what's not yours that you don't rightfully own or deserve? Uh, give me a moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the conversation is loading. Um, because this is the thing. She's on the truth serum too, right? So it's, it's very philosophical, right? What do we mm -hmm. really want all in life, right? Um, Okay. She says, uh, there have got to be easier ways to get what I want without having to be some sort of bandit. But those are options aren't available to me, so what's the point of saying yes or no either way? Now Al looks a little confused. Why, why wouldn't they be available to you? <laughs> she just shakes her head and she's like, you wouldn't understand. Try me. Ah, uh, my God. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> uh... You know what? Let me save you the trouble. You're angry because you feel that no one takes you seriously because you're not like them. You feel like they owe you something because of the way they treated you. And you feel like the only way you're going to be taken seriously is if you're constantly outsmarting each other, or outsmarting them and showing by force that you're better than them. Does that seem correct? Sure, yeah. Close enough. She's like, listen. It's really simple, actually. I came across a group of people who takes what they want. I found a spot inside that group so I could get what I wanted. There's no great motivation other than that, okay? If you want to know if I want to do this for the rest of my life, the answer is no. If you want to know if I take some sort of 
pleasure out of hurting people? The answer is no. But this life is brutal and short. And if I'm not the one who's taking what I want, someone's taking what they want from me. Do you ever That's regret all. it? Do you ever feel sorry? No, she says. No, I don't. Okay. And then uh, I guess Al would get up, walk mm -hmm. away, motion Mila. Mm-hmm. And uh, that, and then I guess he would go back to the group because he wants to have a conversation with him. Okay. Uh, you can hunt down the rest of them easy enough. So, <clears throat> I had a chat with our friend Casey. And, um, well, the good news is, Tom, you can rest assured that as far as I know, the Coalition had nothing to do with this. This was not a, a target. This was simply a case of cyber snatchers coming after my arm. Okay. The more complicated issue is that Perrin, whether he meant to or not, kind of put that Casey's fate in my hands. I could walk in there right now and kill her if I wanted to, or I could set her free. And quite honestly, I'm conflicted about what to do. She's not a horrible person. I feel like she's more of a bandit because of the circumstances and the situation she's in. She's not human, so she is looked down upon, and I can see that... How to put it this way? I don't condone her choices nor her actions, but I don't necessarily think she's a bloodthirsty killer that enjoys it, and I think that if given another chance, she could follow a different path in life. So I don't think murdering her is the way to go. I also don't think letting her go is also the best move because she's just going to go back to what she knows. What do you mean when she, she's not a human? I'm not exactly sure what she is, but she's not from this realm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick's like, now can I talk to her? <laughs> I oh. want to make a proposal, but I will only do this if the group agrees. We're about to go on a traveling group, and I'm going to be the group's doctor, or a doctor in the group. I want to make her my apprentice. For a few months, at least, to try and determine what's the best thing to do with her. Give her a chance at some other type of life and see how she responds to it. And if my hunch is right then she can follow a different path and go her own way and probably be a productive member of society. And I say that kind of sarcastically, but kind of honestly. Or in that time, she'll show her true colors and, well, I'll have to deal with it. But only if the group is okay with this. And I, I, Alicia would have to be there as well, obviously. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. Oh, Alicia. boy. <laughs> okay, Alicia. Okay, do you want to hear what Alicia would say? Just to oh, yeah. that? Sure. Alicia says, uh, "I admire your heart, there, Al. But in most cities, from Chi Town to Laszlo, to Ironheart to Ipshame, to the the Northern Gun." They would just kill Cyber Snatchers. They're typically pretty brutal people. If you don't want to kill her, that's fine. I understand it, right? But I wouldn't trust her as far as I could throw her. And she sounds pretty little. I bet I could throw her pretty far, but I still wouldn't trust her all that much. Who said anything about trusting her? Well, you, uh, Alicia says... Are you gonna have her? Are you gonna watch her like a hawk, twenty four seven? I mean, you gotta sleep at some point, right? True enough. But she's like, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying that's what's going through my head. I understand, and it's actually a very, very safe opinion to have. 
And to be completely honest with you, my training would agree with you. But, you know, my training told me that I shouldn't have followed anyone in this group. Mm. And sometimes I stop to wonder if this world really is as harsh as it is because most cities would just flat out murder them. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, that's Alicia's opinion. Are the rest of you? Oh, I, I have pretty much the same exact opinion as Alicia. <laughs> I, uh, I don't trust her. I, I would actually um, be almost visibly worried. Um, going like, we're, we're going to take somebody who... We're going we're gonna to have somebody with us for a long period of time. Who, who might take our stuff? Tell you what. A better idea. I'll try and talk to Perrin, and I'll see if he can get her some form of employment. Here. Instead of coming with us. I like that idea better. Yeah. Mila? Mila kind of was looking down the whole entire time and just looks up at him, like, dead square in the eye. Are you a goddamn idiot? <laughs> <laughs> Are you stupid? She tried to kill us and you're giving her a second chance? I think Al would look at Mila very honestly and go, if that's what it means to be an idiot, I suppose. You are good with words, aren't you? Fucking asshole. She just marches out. I Again, Al's going to look so hurt and confused and be like, what, what did I do this time? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <sighs> All right, then I right, will ta anyway, I'll yeah. talk to Perrin. I'll see what we can arrange. I don't think she should be killed. I don't necessarily think she should be let go either. Here, they can keep an eye on her. Either she'll change her ways. My only thought is I pumped her full of a truth serum. So I'm quite sure she was not lying to me. And I really feel that if she was offered a different chance, she would not have been what she was. And quite honestly, I can't help but think that with some slightly different circumstances, I could have been that. Tom, maybe you could have been that. Who knows? Uh, mm, I guess. Up for the grace of God go I. I like it. Oh, anyway, sorry. That was just... The DM <laughs> typing in is, I do what you want. I mean, <laughs> so so so. Can I go back to Perrin? Uh, sure. Although to tell you the truth, mm -hmm. uh, Perrin's had a pretty busy day, and he asks if he can wait till morning, <laughs> or he has one of his servants ask if he can wait till morning, just because uh, he wants to eat and relax. And there's been quite a bit of excitement, and he has some things he wants to organize with his militia. As, like, for example, the search party for the two escaped suspects, sure. in uh, addition to uh, arranging, you know, the festival that's going on. So he'd like to, with all due respect, he'd like you fit you in in the morning. I can wait till the did, morning. Mm -hmm. Did you actually mention the truth serum thing to the group? Yeah, he yes, said yes, in yes. character, I gave her truth serum, so she's not lying. Yes. Get your girl like, you did have a truth serum. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll look kind of sheepish and be like, yeah, I did. Why would, why would you why would you lie and then lie again about that? <laughs> you lied twice. You lied about lying. <laughs> What's the point? Because I was trained not to trust anyone. And the fact that I trust you guys as much as I do goes against everything I was ever trained. And it's not easy for me. But I'm trying. Okay. Um, if the, How much time would be left on the serum? Oh, uh, probably not more it's than... It's probably expired yeah. now. Yeah. Well... How much time do you have left to chat with her? Uh, by the if you guys left for the clinic right now, you'd have about another ten minutes. All right. 
I'd most likely go back. Mm -hmm. And I don't I don't think she would recognize me too much, but I'll I'll go in and, and, and greet her. I'll go with you, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <All> right. <laughs>